assistant professor electronics and telecommunication engineering walchand institute of technology solapur today we will discuss the ic 74c926 whose function name is counter and seven segment display circuit which is mostly used for frequency measurement learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to describe key features and applications of ic 74c926 which is a counter and seven segment display circuit contents we will start from logic diagram of ic 74c926 then we will see how the counter operation takes place and finally we will see the seven segment display operation and its interface in this logic diagram we see the main component is it consists of four decade counters as we see here this is a decade counter 1 2 3 and 4 and this counter counter accounts the clock pulses connected to this uh, clock input and the binary number of this count is available on these four lines so and the output of this counter is connected to a output latch which is a four bit latch for each counter so mainly this is what the circuit we can have we can reset the counter by using this reset input circuitry okay so when this reset is active high when we connect logic 1 to this reset input these counters are reset to zero and when the clock pulse is applied at the negative edge of a clock pulse this counter counts in upward direction so this is a units counter this is a tens counter this is a hundreds counter and this is a th thousands counter and after that we get a carry out signal which is uh, generated out of most significant counter which is used for uh, cascading other 74c926 if you want to count more than uh, the number counted by this counter in addition to that it consists of a multiplexer okay and it is connected to a internal clock so multiplexing of this seven segment uh, display is done by using this multiplexer so the uh, these are the a out b out c out and d out there are four displays at the we can connect each display each seven segment display displays the count in these counters so whatever the count is there which is latched and which is given to the bc to seven segment decoder so there is a internally there is a bc to seven segment decoder as well as uh, the drivers are present in this block here we have additional two controls associated with this latch one is a display select and this is a latch enable latch enable is a active high signal when we make this equal to 1 whatever the counter outputs are there these are latched means stored in these latches so this way we can see the block diagram of 74c926 so this is a bcd input and there are seven segment outputs are there this is a a output a segment output b c d e f and g and also uh, 
which latch output is given to the BCD27 segment decoder is decided by this multiplexer. For example, if you want this unit's digit is to be displayed, then the latch output of this is given to the BCD27 segment decoder and correspondingly the D output is activated so that we can activate that seven segment display. So this is what the block diagram. I have taken this figure from uh, Fairchild uh, semi.com website. Let us see the description. It is a CMOS counter with four digit decimal counter having internal output latches as we saw earlier. Each co counter has got a internal 4 bit latch. It has internal multiplexer with four multiplexing outputs and free running oscillator which requires no external clock. There is an internal clock which drives the multiplexer for uh, display circuit and which has got uh, four outputs. And this IC supply voltage works on a supply voltage ranging from 3 volts to 6 volts. So it supports wide range of uh, input supply voltage. This is what the description of uh, uh, input pin. Reset is an input pin as I said earlier. It is an asynchronous input and it is active high. When we reset this, uh, when we make this input high, the counters are reset to zero. Display select as we saw earlier, which is connected to latch, when it is high, displays output of the counter as it is. But when it is low, it displays output of latch. So here, when this display select is low, output of latch is displayed. That means latch the data is displayed. But if you want to display whatever is present in the counter, then we have to make this display select is equal to high. Then this is a latch enable. This is again active, active high. When it is high, counter contents flow through latch. Latch enable, when we make it high, counter contents flow through latch. And when it is low, counter contents are latched. And clock input to the counter is a negative edge sensitive. Let us have a question. What is the maximum count the IC74C926 can reach? You pause the video and answer the question. The question is, what is the maximum count the IC74C926 can reach. Since it consists of four decay counters, the counters when they are reset, the counter content becomes all zero. That means zero, 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 four zeros. And since they are decay counters, each digit can reach up to nine. That means all the digits maximum value can be 9. So the maximum value is 9999. Nine, nine, nine. So it is 9999 is the maximum count the IC74C926 can reach. Let us see now the carry out operation. How carry out operation can be used for cascading the IC74C926. So this is a clock signal. This clock is uh, connected to the counters and carry out becomes logic high when the count value in the counter reaches 6000. It remains high till the counter reaches its final value and its final value is 9999. At that time, it becomes again zero. So whenever carry out reaches zero from one, we can say that counter has reached its final value and this signal can be used for cascading the 
another 74C926. Then that's why we say here carry out is used for cascading of counters. Then uh, we can see the segment output. There are seven segments and these seven segments can source a current of 40 milliampere each. Then this is a digit output. Digit output means A out, B out, C out and D out. These uh, are also used for driving a display which can source a maximum current output of 1 milliampere. Here this is a A out, okay. multiplexing display circuitry. This is a A out diagram. That means A out becomes high. Whenever it becomes low, B out becomes high. It remains high for this much time. Again, it becomes low. Whenever this becomes low, C out becomes high. It remains high for some time and then becomes low. And after it becomes low, D out becomes high. That means activated one after the other. A out is first, then B out, C out and D out. So this way, we can uh, display the four digit uh, seven segment uh, display uh, using multiplexing technique where this uh, T given is a clock connected to the multiplexer. That's why it is one by F max. Code goes to all the seven segment displays only that particular display will be active whose uh, this transistor connected will be on. That means, for example, if D is on, on means if this D output is logic 1, this is a NPN transistor, uh, logic 1 means uh, high voltage is there. So, this transistor becomes on and since it is a common cathode array display, common cathode terminal is connected to ground. And so, whatever the number present on these seven segments will be displayed here. Whereas, these are not displayed here because uh, C is 0, B is also 0, A is 0, when D is 1. So, this way uh, after some time, uh, this is made on and the digit corresponding to this will be output here at that time. So, this way we can uh, do the multiplexing of the display. This is what segment identification. This is segment A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So, uh, how we can uh, display 0? So, we can display 0 by making on all the segments except this G. So, this way for 1 we can make on segments B and C. These are my references. The IC 74C926 data sheet from www.fairchildsemi.com. And one more paper I have chosen for taking the contents design and implementation and performance analysis of a low cost optical tachometer by SM Bakibilla. Thank you very much.